Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. Today's video is finally the 5 looks 1 palette video with the Zendo palette by Natasha Denona. This one just came out a week ago and I have been really enjoying playing with it. So I did three looks in my first video when I first reviewed this palette and in this video I went a little bit more adventurous with my looks and my color choices so I really hope that you guys enjoy the looks that I created. I definitely like these looks better than the ones that I did when I first got the palette. If you're new to my channel, by the way, I do tons of 5 looks 1 palette videos with all of the more popular palettes out there. So if you're ever looking for inspiration, I'm sure that you'll find some on this channel. So please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Now we do have 5 looks to get into, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start the first look with my Ruffer number 15 brush and the color Relief. And this super pretty coral shade is going to be my transition color. So I'm tapping as I do windshield wiper motions all at the same time. And now that I've placed the color where I want it, I'm going to start blending it by moving my brush back and forth through the edges. And I'm bringing it all the way in and blending the edges upwards. I'm switching to my refer number one brush and I grab the color balance and I'm going to tap it right on the crease of my eye, bordering that coral shade right there. From the outer corner in, halfway through the eye, and I'm patting the color in first, just like I did with the first one, just to build up the intensity a little bit. And now that the color is placed, I'm going to do little circles around the edges so that it blends into the peach shade that we first used. And this time I am going past the center, just enough to fully blend it in. With that same number one brush, I'm grabbing the color Zeal and I'm going to put it on the outer third of my eyelid just to deepen up that outer corner a little bit more. And I first tap the color in place and now I'm just going to back and forth blend it in place so that any patchiness goes away. This is how things should be looking once everything is blended. And just like this, we were able to combine the cool tones with the warm tones in the palette in a very flattering way. Now let's keep going. For my eyelid, I'm going to use the color Aura and I'm just going to tap it in with my finger and just place it on my eyelid two thirds of the way in. And now I'm going to use the color Yama right in the center of the eyelid. And it'll kind of just help to mix the cool tones with the warm tone really nicely. Okay, so just like this, let me go ahead and put on some face makeup and I'll be right back to finish this one up. Back with some makeup on and this is the color Zeal on my refer number three brush and I'm going to put it on the outer third of my under eye, just back and forth blending it in place and blending it with the top of the eye at the end right here. And then with the color relief on my refer number 13 brush, I'm going to do the remaining two thirds of my under eye and then bring it down and out so that it smokes out the color zeal. And for the inner corner, feel free to use a highlighter or just a very light inner corner shade that you have that you love. I'm going to stick to strictly just using the palette. So I'm going to use the color Calm, which is a matte color, but it is lighter than everything else I've used for this eye look, so it'll highlight. And I'm packing it on with my refer number 28. I'm going to do a little bit of tranquil over top of it. Okay, here we go. So this is the first look before mascara or lashes. Let me go ahead and put on some of that and I will be right back to show you the final look number one. I'm back with mascara and lashes and I am unsure as to how I finished with a little wing on my eye. <laughs> I was trying to um, conceal my lash band by putting a little bit of eyeliner over kind of where the glue of the lash is and I went a little bit too far up so then I decided to do eyeliner across and then I did a little wing. I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't planned but it's there. It's cute. And this is the final first look with the Zendo palette. Let's go ahead and move on to look number two. Let's get started with the second look and I'm going to use my refer number 12 brush with the color Breath and I'm going to start back and forth blending that color right here on my crease halfway in. And I use this more dense refer brush because this is a cream to powder formula and so a more dense brush is going to move the color and blend it a little easier. So that is what we have right there. With my same number 12 brush, I'm going to use the color Calm 
and we're going to do the outer half of the crease. And Calm is also a cream to powder formula, so this brush is also perfect to place this one where you want it. Right here in the middle, we're just going to blend the two colors back and forth. And I'm going to bring that shade down. Once my brush doesn't have a lot of product on it, I'm running it through the edge to blend out that color a little more. I really love how these two colors combined look. Let's keep going though, but this would make for a really pretty spring look if we didn't deepen it up. On the tip of this refer number 16 brush, I went back and forth between the colors Relief and Vigor because I wanted something a little bit darker and not as peachy as Relief, but not quite as dark as Vigor. So I mixed the two shades and I'm going to place them on the outer corner of the eye, mix together like that. Okay, that's beautiful. And I'm going to start blending it into our transition shade. A little bit more of that mixture and I'm just darkening up the outer corner a little more. On my refer number two brush, I'm going to use the color Yama and I'm going to pack it on my eyelid here, halfway in. Same refer number two brush and a little bit of the color Aura and I'm going to put it right on the edge of my matte warm section. Okay, so here's the top of the second look. Let me go ahead and put on some makeup and I'll be right back to finish up the under eye. Back with some makeup on and I'm going to use the color Breath once again on my refer number 26 brush. And I'm going to do the inner corner with it and one third underneath my eye with that same shade. I have my refer number three brush right here and my mixture of the colors Relief and Vigor. And I'm going to go one third in underneath my lower lash line from the outer corner inwards with that small refer number three brush. With the color Yama, I'm going to unite the two shades underneath my eye by just putting that color right in the center of the under eye. And then with the color Calm on my refer number 12, I'm going to smoke that out. If I had a mint colored eyeliner, it would be perfect for the waterline in this look, but I don't, so I went ahead and used my Fake Awake Eyeliner from Tarte. Let me be right back with some mascara and lashes on. I'm back with mascara and lashes, and this is the final look number two. I love that this one is a little bit softer, and that I was able to combine that minty green in a way that looks so flattering with some peachy shades right here on the outer corner. I love the way that this one came out. And so far, it's my favorite look I've done with this palette. Let's go ahead and move on to the third look. I'm back and for look number three, we're going to start with the BK Beauty 207 brush and the color Mantra. And I'm going to start by tapping that color on the outer V of my eye. And I'm just tapping it where I wanna place it. And I'm going to do the same thing on the inner corner. Same brush, same color, of course. And I'm not blending it yet because I just want to build intensity. Now with that same brush, I'm just going to soften the edges a little bit, just the top edges right here. And with my BK Beauty 206 brush, I grab the color Breath and I'm going to run it through the edges of Mantra by tapping it back and forth. And I'm going to take it all the way through the crease of my eye. And you can see I'm doing back and forth stippling motions with it so that it blends the color and it deposits the color at the same time. Both of these colors are her cream to powder formula, so you have to be generous with them. So you see how I fully coat my brush and then I press the color where I want it. Now that the color is nice and intense, I'm just back and forth with that same brush, blending any edges. And I think I want to intensify Mantra a little bit, so I'm going back with a bit more of it. To darken things up a little more, I grab the color Zeal on my refer number 26 brush and I'm going to put it super close to my lash line in both the outer and the inner third of my eye and blend it into Mantra. BK Beauty 207, nothing on it. I'm just helping it blend a little better by running it through the edges. And I know that the center of my eye looks a hot mess right now, but that's okay because we're going to put a different color there. We just want to make sure that these edges look blended. I grab the color Flow and this is going to be the color in the center of my eyelid. So I'm tapping it in place with my finger all through the center of my eye. 
Okay, and this is what I have for the top of look number three so far. Let me put on some concealer underneath and I'll be right back to finish it up. Okay, to finish up the third look, I'm going to use the color Mantra. Once again, I'm using my 207 brush from BK Beauty and I'm running it all throughout my under eye area, connecting it here at the end. With my 206 and the color Breath, I'm going to smoke it out. And in the inner corner, the color Yama. Just kidding, let's do flow on the inner corner. Okay, whatever, I put it over top of Yama. I'm leaving it like this. Ideally, just actually go into a different palette and use an actual highlighter shade and put that on your inner corner. I'm going to use Chanel's 944 eyeliner in my waterline. And let me do my mascara and lashes and I'll be right back to show you the final third look. I'm back with some mascara and lashes on and this is the final look number three. I really like the teal shades in this palette. I think they complement my eyes really nicely. And in this look, I kept it all in the teal family because I didn't think any of the warm tones in the palette really combined with the color I used right in the center. And I did want to use that color for a look. So this is what I got, nice halo eye. I absolutely love how much depth I was able to get with the color Zeal and I would definitely change the inner corner for something nice and bright but this palette doesn't offer me that so this is what I went with. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move on to the fourth look. I'm going to start the fourth look by using the color Calm as my transition color. So once again with my reference number 12 brush I am packing it on my crease first. Pack, pack, pack it, pack it, pack it. And once the color is exactly where I want it, I'm going to blend that upper edge by running the brush back and forth through it and make a transition into the color of my skin. Next with my reference number 16, I'm going to use the color Vigor. I figured there would be a look where I had to just actually try this color on its own, you know? <laughs> so look number four is it. And I'm putting it on the outer corner. Let's make it a halo eye. I'm going to do it on the inner corner as well. I think it's a trend thing because I used to like doing looks with red, but I don't think I like doing looks with red any longer, honestly. I haven't in a while and I'm just kind of forcing myself with this one because I feel like I have to use every shade in the palette. In my review video, I said this color felt a little bit drier than the rest and it looked a little patchy when I swatched it. But now that I'm using it on its own, it performs just like any other Natasha Denona color. It actually blends out beautifully and I have no complaints. To deepen things up even further, I'm using the color Mindful on my refer number 14 brush and I'm putting it on the outer corner, blending it into that red shade and the inner corner of the eye, of course. In the center of this eye look, I'm going to use the color Luster and I'm just going to tap it with my finger right in the middle there, all throughout the center of my eyelid. And I think I'm going to do a little bit of the color Tranquil right in the center of it, just to make that gold shade a little bit paler, not as intense. Okay, so this is what I have for the top of look number four. Let me put on concealer and I'll be right back to finish it up. Back with some makeup on and I'm going to do my waterline. This is the Urban Decay eyeliner in the color Torch. For my under eye with my number three brush from Refer, I grabbed the color Vigor and I'm going to put it underneath my lashes on the outer third and inner third of my under eye. With my finger and the color Tranquil, I'm going to do the center of my under eye. Just rub it right in the middle. And with a little bit of the color Calm on my reference number 14, we're gonna blend out that under eye area. And lastly, I'm doing Tranquil right in the inner corner with my number 28 brush from Refer. Okay, so this is how the fourth look turned out before mascara and lashes. Let me do some of that and show you the final results. Here's the final look number four, nice and fiery and warm. I love doing halo eyes, so obviously I love the way that this one turned out as well. And the peachy shades on the crease look really nice. So yes, this is look number four right here. Let's go ahead and move on to the fifth and final look. To begin the fifth and last look, we're going to use the color Calm, and I'm using my refer number 12 brush for this. And we're going to put it halfway through the crease on the inner part of the eye just back and forth blended halfway in this number 12 brush is perfect because it helps to pack the color in and now with that same brush we are going to use the color breath to be our transition on the outer half of the eye and i'm going to pack it on to build it 
and then blend the edges. I'm also going to drag it down to the outer corner of the eye. Next, with my refer number one brush, I grab the color Zeal and I'm going to pack it right on the outer corner and start blending it into that crease shade we put on. And once again, we're only working halfway in. And I'm going to run the number 12 brush through the crease to further blend these colors into one another. Next, I'm grabbing the color Tranquil on my refer number two brush and I'm going to put it a third of the way into my eyelid, right underneath the color Relief. And with the other side of that same brush, I grab the color Equilibrium and I'm going to put it on the outer third of my eyelid. And I'm patting it on with that refer number two brush. Equilibrium, by the way, is one of my favorite shades in this palette. I think it's so beautiful. I had to use it again. Make sure you blend it into Zeal by just running your brush through any edges. And then we're going to use the color that makes the warm and the cool tones of this palette meet and blend beautifully and that is the color Yama and so we're going to tap it right on the eyelid. Alright so here's the top of the fifth look. Let me go ahead and put on some makeup and I'll be right back to finish it up. I'm back with some makeup on it and I think I'm going to try to do something similar to the top underneath my eye. So with the color Calm on my refer number 26 brush I'm going to go one third of the way in underneath my eye. With the tip of that same brush, I'm going to darken things up with the color Zeal on the outer half of the eye and tying it to the top. And then with my refer number 12 and the color Breath, we are going to smoke things out. I'm even going to do a little bit of Yama right in the center of the under eye. And in my waterline, the Chanel eyeliner in the color 944. So this is look number 5 before mascara or lashes. Let me go ahead and do some of that and I'll be right back to finish it up. Okay, back with mascara and lashes on, and this is the final fifth look with this beautiful Zendo palette. I absolutely love the way that this one came out. I think this is one of my favorites. I think my favorite looks in this 5 Looks 1 palette were the ones where I combined the warm tones with the cool tones. So this one is definitely up there with my favorites. I absolutely love the way that this one came out. And I really hope that you guys liked it as well. Okay, so that was all five looks with this palette. Of course, everything that I'm wearing on my face is going to be linked down in the description box of the video. So if you're interested or curious on any of the products on my face, definitely check it out. If you don't have this palette yet and after watching my video, you are inspired to buy it, please use the link that I left you down in the description box of the video because that helps me as a content creator. And I definitely really appreciate it when you guys use my links. Out of the five looks, I think my favorite has to be look number five. I definitely really loved looks one and two as well, but this one, this one is pretty special. I really love it. So look number five is my favorite, but let me know which one is your favorite down in the comment section of this video. I always love reading your guys' comments and seeing which look you guys liked best. If you guys like this video, by the way, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't leave without subscribing and ringing the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you so much and I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye!